On our way to the port, we have an hour to get there. Whoa. <laughs> Let's go. Oh my god. You guys want to touch? Touch. Yeah, it's good. It's got a little red scratch back here. And so any anything special I need to know? Alright, let's go.
swimming at that beach and it was ice cold, but extremely refreshing. Hey, hey. Go smart car adventures. We're lucky enough that our car had a little hole in the exhaust. Now I'm getting to attempt a three point turn down there, and it's a really narrow road. So let's see if I can make this happen. Show them the cliff. Our little smart car and me in it is going to go right off of that cliff into the rocks and the water. Mykonos. Mykonos is a little bit more of like a lively place. It's got more partying and more drinking happening. There's a, a few different ways that you can get around here. Obviously you can order a taxi and maybe they'll take you wherever you want. Or you can rent an ATV, a, motor, a motorbike, a moped, or you can rent a car. A lot of people are inclined to rent ATVs just because they are fun if you're going a short distance. But if you really want to see the entire island or most of it, you should definitely rent a smart car or like a really small car. We paid 70 euros for the entire day Whereas an ATV is about 50 or same price. Yeah. yeah, an ATV was the same price as getting a smart car. And it's fun, but in the long run, you're probably gonna regret it after you're on the ATV for a while because they don't, it's not like the ATVs that you're probably thinking of where you can go really fast and do crazy stuff. The ATVs are really slow and there's a lot of hills. You're gonna be getting passed up by cars and trucks and buses. So it gets a little sketchy too. That was recommended to us by the receptionist here at the hotel. This room has been really cozy and comfortable and everybody at this hotel has been really helpful. Thank you for joining me on this adventure in Mykonos and in Santorini. That's fine. <laughs> Thank you for joining me on this adventure on the island of Mykonos. From here we're going to Athens and from Athens we are going back home. And yeah, see you later.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to New York Liberty International. You want to play, buddy? You want to play? Not right now. All right, I just wanted to put a little bit I just wanted to put a little bit of a bookend on our trip to Greece. I highly recommend going to Greece if you can do it. And if you go, definitely try to see as much as you can. There's so many islands. We only had the opportunity to see two different islands, but there's so many that you can see. And then Athens, of course, all the ancient history. I will be making another video in the future talking about all the gear that I used to film my trip. I already made a video about my Rode video micro microphone. I brought it on this trip as well. I also brought my Joby Gorilla Pod that I'm using right now. I brought a new lens, the 16 to 35 F4L, the 16 to 35 Zeiss Sony lens. Still used to the Canon days where everything has an L on the end. And I brought along this little bad boy right here. You can put this thing anywhere, take it anywhere where you don't really want to take this big camera. I absolutely love this little camera. I brought along an anchor battery. I'll maybe make a video or talk about this in a future video. This anchor battery, 20,100 power core anchor battery. It was really good. I use this to charge my phone, my camera. I use it to charge this little camera. I brought an HP, I brought my HP PC. I normally do everything on a Mac, but for traveling, this little HP Spectre X360 is so light and really great to travel with. Thank you for watching this video. If you found any of this helpful or informative, definitely hit the like button. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to get back to you. If you wanna stay in touch and see what else I get into, definitely hit that subscribe button. So thank you for watching, later.